In this video, I'm going to show you how to put your eye parts or eye assemblies on a drawing sheet and how you can choose the correct model um, out of your eye part or eye assembly so that it shows up in the correct sizes. So here I have opened a blank sheet. I've already set up my paper size. I've filled in most of my title block already here. So I'm going to come up to base view, and this part is fairly similar to what you would normally do. You create your base view first, you search by clicking on the little browse button, and you go and find whatever it is you want to place on here. In this case, I'm going to grab my toggle clamp assembly. So I click open, and it shows up on my screen here. Now, before I go ahead and click OK, I need to decide which, um, which of my toggle clamp assemblies I want to show up here, because if you guys have watched my previous videos, this guy is an eye assembly with three different assemblies with different eye parts in him. So what we do is we go over to the model tab. So in my little drawing view box here, we click on the second tab over, which is model. And right up at the top here, we have a drop down for the member. So we can choose to place in toggle clamp assembly one, toggle clamp assembly two, or toggle clamp, clamp assembly three. So you can choose between your three different assembly files here, which one it is you want to show up on your drawing sheet. So I'm going to go with assembly three, and I'm going to change the scale back to one to one and go ahead and click OK. Now, let's say I wanted to place multiple assemblies um, of the different member sizes on here. So we could do that again. I'm going to place another base view. I'm going to go browse for my assembly file. And let's say this time I want to place in toggle clamp assembly one, just for comparison with number three here. So we click the drop down on the model tab. We go to toggle clamp assembly one, and we go ahead and we click OK. And sorry, just for comparison here, my scale is also at one to one. So you can see the size difference between the two different assemblies here. And you know that you've placed in the correct assembly um, just based on the visual with the size difference here. So that's how we can place in our eye assemblies on a drawing page and how we can choose the correct eye assembly from the drop down. Now let's go ahead and place in an eye part. So again, I'm just clicking on base view and I'm going to browse and I'm going to go find one of my parts here. Let's grab. Sure, the rubber handle. That scale's a little big. Let's go with one to one. And let's look at it from the front view. Well, the right side view, but I, I call this the front. Okay, so here we have our rubber handle. This is an eye part. And again, this is my default um, eye part model. And again, with this part, there are three different member sizes in this file. So if I go to my model tab, you'll see that we still have that member drop down here and we can choose between rubber handle one, rubber handle two or rubber handle three. So if I switch between them here, you can see my base view updating on my drawing page here. So I can choose which of these eye part members I want to show up on my page. So I'll go ahead and place in number three just to match my assemblies here. And let's do that one more time. So clicking on base view, going to find my part grabbing the part file and this time I'll place in number one, change my scale one to one and there I'll just place it underneath the assembly for comparison here. So that's how you can place on eye assemblies or eye parts on your drawing sheets and then you can go ahead and annotate this as you normally would.